Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of hot. Today I have another Power Rangers Lightning Collection review for you. This is probably... Not, not probably. This is my most anticipated Lightning Collection review out of all the things on my backlog, because I am very, very behind in Lightning Collection videos. Uh, I've had a bunch of figures sitting here for months and months that I'm just finally getting to review. Out of everything, whether that's Wave 7 that I you know, just recently posted, uh, Wave 8 and, and Wave 9 that will be coming soon, the monster figures coming soon, SPD A Squad, B Squad Blue, all that stuff, all these, these figures that have been sitting in my house for a while, this pack. I was the most excited about, and that is because of Astronema. Astronema, one of my all-time favorite villains. I am so happy that we have an Astronema figure, and she looks fantastic. I, I can already see just in the box itself looks fantastic, and what a cool two-pack to get her and her brother Andros. Um, spoiler alert, <laughs> just kidding. You, you should know that by now. Um, who... Uh, the civilian head also looks pretty cool. I love the the hairstyle, everything. Uh, I'm very, very excited to have this two-pack. This is just perfect. The only thing better than this two-pack is a future two-pack that, as of the recording of this video, has not been announced yet, but has been leaked. That is Astronema and Ecliptor. Because Ecliptor also looks fantastic. So, be on the lookout for that. Astronema even has a different hairstyle in that two-pack, which I'm also very excited about. But that's in the future. Hopefully that comes out soon and is officially announced soon. Um, but this is it. Look at this artwork as well. Um, there's fantastic artwork, as always. Power Rangers in space. There you go. Check out that Astronema. That's just so cool. I mean, like, the, what they've done with this figure is just awesome um i'm just very very happy you know with how this this turned out and like check that out man look at the back like just this whole clash between siblings like that's just so so cool um very very excited so without further ado let's get this open and take a look we have the figures out of the box here oh man these these look great these look great and and i gotta say um this astronomer figure um Maybe one of my favorite Lightning Collection figures ever. Uh, this is so well done. I am very, very happy about this. Um, by the way, fun little uh, thing to show you all. Um, I actually, at Power Morphicon 2018, I took a picture with Melody Perkins in the full Astronema getup right there. So uh, let me actually see if I can... Oh, no, brightness is all the way up. It's just my uh, my lights might be a little, little tough. But, like, look... Like, that, that's actually Melody Perkins in the suit and everything so many years later. Still looks awesome in the suit. And, and then we have a figure of it right here. That's, like, incredible. That's, that's so, so cool. Um, but we're going to save Astronema for, uh, for a little later. Let's start with In Space Red right here. We got Andros. And I don't do this too often anymore because, like, who cares anymore about Legacy Collection with Bandai? That's old news. But just for the heck of it, since I had it nearby, here is the Legacy um, In Space Red Ranger on the right from Bandai. And here is the Hasbro um, Lighting Collection. So, um... You know, hindsight's twenty twenty. I remember at the time, we're like, oh, these are cool. We're finally getting all these figures, all that stuff, articulation, all that, right? But, like, look at the two side by side. This almost looks like some, you know, android or something, like some, some robot ranger that's, like, super crazy abs and stuff. Like, that looks so fake. Like, it's just, just weird proportions. Um, it's, 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 it's not great. Um... So it makes me appreciate Lightning Collection even more now, just because they've kind of gone for the more realistic approach with like the little wrinkles and folds in the suit, that sort of thing, which I think looks really, really cool. So let's take a look at the detail here on the figure up close. Um, of course, you have the, uh, the little symbol right up there. Um, I think on this figure, it's literally just a little gold rectangle. I don't think they actually put the uh, design on it. Um, I guess it's so small that they just didn't feel like it was worth doing on on this figure. But this is the uh, the little um, design it's supposed to be. Um, the colors there. Um, I do kind of wish they were a little bit more aligned, um, as you can see. So that's that's a little annoying. Um, 
but otherwise it's it's fine. I mean, the in space suits are very simple, very simple designs. So there, there's not a whole lot that you can really get wrong, you know, with these uh, um, with these suits. But um, yeah, I think it, it looks it looks good. Um, articulation wise, it's going to be your standard Lightning Collection uh, fare. So swivel, arm rotation. Um, this entire part of the arm rotates. Double joint elbow. The hand itself. Uh, rotates and is removable. You got this. Up and down. Boom. Boom. Double joint knee. The boot rotates. Feet go up and down and swivel. So, standard stuff there. Accessory-wise, of course, he comes with the Astro Blaster, which can be holstered right in there. Uh, looks great. Overall, uh, obviously it's not going to have, you know, every little bit of paint uh, on these tiny little weapon accessories, but the paint that they did include I feel like is the basics, you know. Um, so I like what they've done. Looks looks pretty good overall. Um, and you have the Spiral Saber. There you go. Pretty cool. Uh, you have two grabby hands pre-installed, and then you have a right hand kind of pointing, like that, and a left hand that's a fist. Okay. Um, and then you also have the civilian head. So, let's bring in Andros right here. Overall, I think it looks pretty solid. Um, yeah, I think they did a pretty good job of capturing uh, Christopher Kamen Lee's likeness, especially with the the hair color and all that. So let's pop this on, and boom! Like that is that is Andros right there. That's super super cool. Uh, I absolutely, you know, would love to do some kind of display with Andros like this against Astronema. Like, that's actually really, really cool. So there you have it. There is Andros. Okay. Pop this one back on. And now, for the figure that I have been waiting for, we have Astronema right here. Oh, looks so, so good. Um, so, two grabby hands right there, and comes with... Um, two fists. A uh, little bit hard to see, but the fists themselves, I, this might not be something I can show on camera. Uh, they do have a little bit of detail, just because it's like black colored, so the detail blends in. But there's a little bit of detail on the actual like hands there, like the gloves. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, then, you also have her staff right here, um, which looks pretty solid. And you have this purple effect piece, so I guess it can just kind of slide on through here, however you want to do it. You know, I'm sure you could attach it better, but you get the idea. That's pretty cool. Um, let's just have her hold the staff, because I, I just need to see the full iconic look of Astronema here. Let me... Let's see what the easiest way is to do this. You don't want to like bend the fingers too much, you know? But this slides in there. A little hard to do with a camera in your face and, uh, and trying to not like, you know, damage the hand too much or anything. There we go, let's do that first and then this finger. All right, that's solid. Um, she also comes with this uh, piece right here that is detachable. So this little, like a weapon thing. I think she, uh, I don't specifically remember this. I mean, I kind of vaguely do, uh, but I didn't know that it attaches onto her side. Um, so that's, that's an option there. Uh, oh man, that is so cool. Like, check that out, guys. We have Astronema right here. Like... That looks awesome. Awesome. So, um, let's take an up-close look at the detail here. I will say, 
The face is not 100% like Melody Perkins. I, it's pretty good, but the, I think there could be some improvements there. Overall, though, I still think it looks really solid, especially, like, kind of from the side, it looks, you know, more like her. Um, it kind of looks like Taylor Swift to me, actually. <laughs> but, you know, overall, still pretty solid. Um, I love the 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 hair color and everything, the blue and purple, like the way they've painted that also just came across really, really nicely. Um, so great detail um, overall. Uh, super, super cool. And I love like the blend of kind of, you know, the grayish plastic and then you have kind of like the silver shine, you know, here as well. It just, I don't know, the contrasting colors of little bits of gray and silver and black, like, it, it works really well for me. Um, so I like that, you know, silver bit they did there. You have some silver, you know, on the sides there as well, um, which looks pretty good, as you can see. So that, you know, looked pretty cool on the, uh, the arms there. Looks super, super cool. Yeah, overall, really, really nicely done. Just looks fantastic. I Like, I've wanted an Astronomer figure for so long, and I think this turned out great. Um, so as far as articulation goes as well, um, the head, you know, is, is really not going to move a lot because of the hair. Um, that That's one thing to keep in mind. It, it's very limited. Um, this piece is a little, you know, rubbery, so you can kind of, you know, bend it a little to, to outstretch the arm. So the arm does rotate. Um, there is some shoulder swivel. Um, the, uh, um, there's no, like, full rotation of this arm, um, like you do on, you know, this, for example, how this entire part of the arm rotates. Um, so there is not that here, but, uh, this bottom part of the arm does rotate, and you have a single joint at the elbow. Uh, the hands, of course, do rotate as well. Um upper body rotates around, um, you do have movement there, the legs, you know, kicks forward, this rotates, double joint at the knee, feet move up and down, and also swivel. So there's that. Um, and this piece technically does, it, it was little, this thing was like pointing towards the front in the package. So I think it's supposed to go to the side like this, but you can turn it just so, just so you're aware. Um, so yeah, I mean, overall, like, again, very, very nicely done. So let me know in the comment section below what you think of this two-pack as well. Like I said, um, this is really, really cool. There is that leaked two-pack, at least as of the recording of this video, it hasn't been officially announced, but there's images out there um, of Astronoma and Ecliptor. Astronoma has a different hairstyle. Ecliptor looks fantastic, so I am definitely going to get that as well, and I'll compare the two Astronoma figures when the time comes, but for now, and there's actually um, uh, officially announced, we just don't know when exactly it's coming, um, as of the recording of this video, it's not up for pre-order yet, but you have the, the cloaked or disguised Andros from In Space as well, so you have another Andros, so that's awesome, great characters, great season, I'm excited to have different forms of them in Lightning Collection. So, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Lots more Lightning Collection reviews on the way. Still catching up. Thank you all so much. Take care, and I will see you later.